Hello everyone, so today we are going to be uh, trying out that Charizard deck that I built uh, before I go ahead and deconstruct it and get rid of the cards because I have a better deck in mind. Um, so first off, I want to point out that I made a couple of very small changes. I swapped out the Devil Energies for Weakness Guard Energies because there's a lot of water Pokemon in the... Uh, just a lot of water Pokemon out there and all fire Pokemon are weak to water. So, uh, I put in this weakness guard energy. It only provides colorless, but, uh, I'll be honest, I think that's going to be pretty relevant. Um, and then as for trainers, um, I put in one of my favorite staples, which is Switch, which will make it easier for us to, uh, <coughs> swap between things that we need and don't need, particularly between, like, Marowax and Charizards. Let's see here, and I think that's pretty much it. So, we are going to go ahead and see how this deck plays out. Alright. There we go. We're having a long time getting some loading done here. Alright, so we're going to call heads and lose the coin flip. That's unfortunate. All right, loading up our hand. We didn't get any basic Pokemon this time around, so those are going to go back into the deck and shuffle up, and we'll try again. He's got dragon sleeves on the back of his card. I wonder if that means he's playing a dragon-based deck, or if he just likes the way it looks. I'll be perfectly honest, the whole dragon theme is pretty cool. All right, so... Um, I want to put the Cubone up front because, ideally, I want to be able to hit a Marowak and load up the Charmander before I actually put it into battle. Uh, but we will we'll see how that goes. So we are fighting up against an Entei, an Entei, and another Entei. Are these all different? Firefang Eruption, Rally Back Fire Main. He, he put in, at the very least, three Entei's with different names. That is, um, goofy. But, you know, far be it for me to, uh, have commentary on the way that other people play their game. So, we didn't get a Marowak, we're just gonna pass. Alright, oh, we've got some electric, we've got, we got an Electabuzz, so, looks like Fire Electric, possibly. Buff Padding, what does that do? I've not seen that before. Uh, Retreat costs exactly 4, it gets 50, that is oddly specific. And on an Electabuzz, I can't imagine that's super relevant. Hey, check this out, we got Rare Candy. Uh, we can literally go straight for the Charizard. I like that. I need to get a few more of those. And then, and then we got a Charmeleon. So we'll be able to put that over here. And then we can get our Weakness Guard Energy right onto our Charizard. Although, uh, it's actually not going to be particularly relevant. And once again, we end the turn without any type of attack. Um, and because we haven't had a chance to, at the very least, get a uh, one-shotter off of Charizard yet. But we will. What's over here? Blue's Tactics. End of turn, draw to you have eight. That's actually pretty cool. So it doesn't look like he cares that much about having... And, oh no, he's, he's loaded it up. So, 20 damage, plus a burn, that's 40 damage, and our Q-Bone, unless we swap it out, is going to literally just get KO'd on the next go-round. So, I think we will swap it out, um, just because I still want to make use of a Marowak, because we're pretty limited on the energy we have available. So, we are going to go ahead and burn out this Entei, lose a Fire Energy, and... Go on. Let's see. I'll just get this one up here. It's another energy retrieval. That's not bad, though. 
Um, what is bad is that we don't have any other energy in hand. And we can't use our Evelyn because he does not have a stage 2 Pokemon on the field at the moment. Oh wait, no, he does! He evolved the Electabuzz into Electivire. Okay. Now the Electivire, because of those knee pads, is now at 180 hit points. Let's see, Thunder Punch, 60 damage uh, for a or 60 more for heads, over 22 itself if it's tails, and Giga Impact 170, which is actually enough to knock out a Charizard, but you can't attack on the following turn. Um, what's this? Okay. Uh, wow. Oh, we were. Busy looking, he just kind of loaded the field up, didn't he? Oh my god, I don't even have time to look at all this yet. All right, um, Evelyn, while we have the chance, <laughs> Marowak, because it's relevant. Oh goodness, I really wish. Uh, here's the thing we really need to have Charizard in its most optimal position. What does this do? Hold up. Oh, I think it lets us discard a card and fetch an energy. Yeah, we'll put them into our hand. So that's useful. <clears throat> put a fire energy on Charizard. Um. Yeah, let's see. The thing is... Right now... The Charizard goes down on the next attack, and we will not be able to kill Electivire before that happens. So, we're in an awkward position to where we've kind of got to hope for the best. And I think, ultimately, we have to... We, we're we going to have to let Charizard go, but we will go down swinging. Um, because we I don't really see any better options at the moment. Uh... It was increased? How? Is that the Electabuzz's weakness? No, it says it's fighting. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm not complaining for a win. Oh, wait, hold up. No, it's not an EX Pokemon either. Wait, is this ability... Oh, it's for each GX and EX in play. I thought it was only if they had a GX or EX in play. Well, that makes this particular Charizard a lot better. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Wow, read your cards, I guess. Uh, I think Charizard's still gonna die, but, you know. At least we learned something useful here. Huh. Yeah, there, yeah, it's the burn did it. The burn put us down. Alright. So, Marowak's up to the plate, and we are going to try to get another Charizard, and oh, ouch. Okay. But, we can change the stadium over to something we can take advantage of. Unfortunately, so can our opponent. But, uh, win some, lose some, you know how the saying goes, and, oh my goodness, uh, out of a particularly favorable situation, um, well, let's see, I think I'll know Marowak to stick around a little bit longer, so, I think what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and put an energy on our Charmeleon, swap the Marowak out for this new Charmander, and unfortunately we're gonna have to throw a little buddy here under the bus. <laughs> now you might notice I have three energy retrievals in hand and I didn't use any of them nor did I use my professor's letter. Uh, the reason why is because I know there's a lot of people out there who have uh, cards that might force you to shuffle your hand into the deck or just literally pitch all of it and um, 
the reason why I'm not adding more energy to, from my graveyard to my hand, uh, even though I could have played two of those, is... Oh, he just forced us to lose our stadium. What's this? Grass not trick. Take 30 less damage from opponent's attacks. Okay, well... You have a fire Pokemon on the field at the moment, so I don't think that's a super big concern. But as I was saying, um, we could put that into uh, our hands, and then when they get shuffled in, it would put a lot of that stuff into our deck. But actually, what we're about to do is... We're going to be playing Cynthia here in just a second, so... Huh... How much energy do we have in there? Probably... No, I don't know if I want to shuffle it in, though, because that kind of dilutes the whole deck. Yeah, I, I think we're better off not putting more energy into our deck. We're just going to shuffle up, see if we can't get our Charizard. We got the Charizard. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we did get the energy retrieval. Pretty happy about that. Because we also have a welder in hand. So we're essentially going to be um, setting it up for what will hopefully be a lot of damage. Now, while we're waiting for the turn to pass, we're going to sit here and think about what our opponent could possibly be doing. Let's see. Go look at ho ho -Oh. Uh, disc eco. Okay, so that's a return from graveyard effect. Rainbow burn, 20 damage for each type of basic to uh, attach to the Pokemon, which there's none on it, so I don't think that's going to be something he's going to use. Rush Rim, um, discard fire, or fire energy to do 110. Uh, if it's your active Pokemon, you may attach a fire energy from its, or uh, from its... From your hands to one of your dragon Pokemon. Let's see here. Her opponent's Pokemon is now burned and confused. And then put any amount of fire energy attached to your Pokemon in the lost zone. There's 50 damage each put. Okay, so that's going to be our most dangerous contender. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a weakness guard energy directly on Charizard. So we no longer lose to water. Not that it's particularly relevant. We'll play that because we don't have anything else to do. And then we are probably knocking the Sentei out. We did. <sighs> Getting two prizes. And really, really hoping that we don't just die on the crackback here. But we might. Uh, let's do some math here. If he pitches two... Uh, assist to your Pokemon. That means all of them. So if he pitches, he needs to he needs to pitch four energy total, and I think he can do it, and I think he's going to. And I'm pretty sure he can get the stuff from his bench. He can. Yep, that was it. That's unfortunate. But it would have been a good mashup if not for that particular attack. I've got to see. I kind of like that weird crystal ball looking pokemon i no idea what that is i have to assume it's type combination of psychic and fire because those abilities kind of line up with psychic and fire pokemon types at least you know card wise all right let's take a look at the time 1357 so we'll try one more round before most likely completely discommission or decommissioning this deck um I mentioned before that I think even though the Salamence deck still has the fire breathing effect that I prefer that one over this Charizard. I'm going to take a second to expand on that. The Salamence uh, GX has an ability on it that allows you to uh, make it to where all of your non-GX Pokemon have a free retreat cost. Which means it literally uh, turns everything into switch on a stick. Um... So unless Salamence is your active Pokemon, you can move stuff around as needed. Uh, no, we don't want to go first. Uh, the Charizard deck lacks this ability. Additionally, 
Although this particular Charizard, as we just learned, does have the pretty cool ability of doing even more damage if your opponent is playing GX and EX Pokemon, which a lot of people are, Salamence straight up just does 200 damage. Um, I will state that having to mix the water and fire is a bit annoying because you have to keep that in mind when you're a uh, Volcanion, huh? For fire, attach it to one of your Pokemon. If you go second and it's your first turn, you search for three. Okay, so it's first turn. Uh, essentially, it's first turn ramp. All right. So, Sharon. Nothing. Okay. We will put Charmander onto the field. Uh, let's discard pass. That's actually not helpful to the moment. Um, with any luck, we'll pull a Charizard on the next turn, and we will use the Rare Candy to just straight up evolve it. Otherwise, we do have the Charmeleon Middle Ground, and we can start loading things up using that. Yeah, that's the right Marowak. So we'll be using that particular Marowak. Uh, uh, and of course, we do have the Weakness Energy. This is really not a particularly great set up at the moment let's see how things go <sighs> score bunny all right <clears throat> I really don't like how dependent on luck this is. I mean, I've been building decks only for a couple of days, and I'll, I've already deleted all of the first ones that I built because, like this, they were very dependent on uh, luck. And um, one of my personal uh, beliefs is you should never gamble unless you have full control over the outcome. Uh, which is to say, I, and this mostly is just something I state whenever I get into an argument about using slot machines over uh, my personal love of playing poker. Um, which essentially just kind of comes down to... Uh, let's see, let's get some fire energy real quick so we can start loading things up a bit more. Um, oh, that's right, and we can draw off of this other one. And we've got the Charizard. Well, I guess that's a lesson in trying to uh, move a little bit more slow-paced. So, we'll Limbo Limbo, get some fire, put it over here. But uh, as I was saying, um, the more control you have over a situation, the more safe it is to put your bets down. And um, again, like I said, this mostly goes to my philosophy towards justifying a love for playing poker, but not really liking gambling in general. Um, not that I actually gamble money in poker, or at least I haven't in a few years. But really, uh, what it comes down to is you want to have as much control over a situation as possible. The less you need to rely on luck, the luckier you are. Go figure. Uh... You know, it's it's like Edna, Mode, uh, Edna Mode says in The Incredibles, fortune favors the prepared. So, the fact that we're just kind of going on a uh, a build where the entire focus is just using the Charizard, it, it it doesn't feel great. But we are hopefully about to have some pretty good fun here and hopefully get a win. So we're going to pitch this fire energy, get a little bit of extra draw going here. Uh, we now have two, I'm pretty sure two fire energies in the graveyard. So we can make use of this welder. Again, put him in a Charizard. So he's pretty well loaded up. And we're going to bring him out. And we are going to let him have some fun. That's a one-shot knockout. Uh... And I'm, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna continue. We're just gonna start getting a back-to-back -back bunch of knockouts. Um, or if he doesn't play another basic, then we knock out this score bunny and we just straight up win the game. Because if your opponent's Pokemon gets knocked out, or if if someone's Pokemon gets knocked out and 
uh, they don't have anything on the bench to replace it. It's just an automatic game over. And uh, you win. So, that is cool looking. I want one of those. What does it do again? Oh, fetch a basic. Okay. It's still sweet. What do we got? Volkengen. This one's fire water. I've never seen it split like that before. There's a lot I don't know about this game. But I, I think I'm navigating it pretty decently. At least I, I, I want to believe I am. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put you another fire energy. We're going to put the... We're set on Charizard for a second. We'll go ahead and start loading up the Bra uh, the Charizard Braxian. Or, wait, no, I think it's... Bra breaks in. Breaks, okay, like breaks in on like a door. All Pokemon names are puns. So... We will, yeah, we'll load him up just in case, and then we're going to burn the sword, and, and we're just actually going to win right there. Alright, well, um, I still don't really like this deck. Uh, maybe someday we'll build a better version of it, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and decommission it. We just got a chance to see roughly how functional it is. Um, talk a little bit about ways that it can be improved on and ultimately, you know, the whole point of making this deck was only to show how it's done. So, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, well, I hope y'all have a good day.